Yesterday, Nvidia cancelled the 12GB variant of what it was calling an RTX 4080. As I have pointed out in my previous video, the 12GB4080 is on average 27% weaker than the 16GB4080. By the way, this performance information comes directly from Nvidia. It was posted just a few days before this cancellation. To me, and clearly to many others, this information indicated foul intentions by Nvidia trying to disguise RTX 4070 as A4080 and push it out of the gate with a ludicrous $900 price tag attached to it. But we, as a community, did not take it laying down. We rushed to voice our opinions, calling out Nvidia's actions. I thank everyone who participated in any capacity to achieve this little victory. But the battle is not over yet. In that same post, Nvidia confirmed that the real RTX 4080, that is the one with 16GB of memory and better performance, is now set to hit the store shelves on November 16th. As far as we know, Nvidia has not changed its price, which is an eye-watering $1199. I would like to remind you that in the previous generation, RTX 3080 had a $799 MSRP. Right now, you can actually get it new for less than that from most major retailers. Even the 12GB 3080 is selling below $800. So, even adjusting for inflation, as well as taking into consideration the increased production costs of the RTX 4000 series graphics cards, $1200 is still way too much to ask for an RTX 4080 in my opinion. I think that Nvidia should lower the price down to $900 to $1000. Then this product would make way more sense in the shadow of the RTX 4090, which is just so much better than the 4080. Just look at that performance gap. There is almost a 40% difference according to Nvidia's very own benchmarks. Just a reminder, RTX 3080 was just 10% slower than RTX 3090. So, even at $900, RTX 4080 still would look like a bad value option when we compare it to the previous generation of graphics cards. Additionally, I would like to tell you why Nvidia is handling the RTX 4000 series launch in such an unpleasant way. If you feel like they are skimming something, then you are absolutely right. Nvidia has large quantities of RTX 3000 series graphics cards left to sell. Normally this does not happen. It is a miscalculation on their part caused by the crypto mining crash. It is a huge problem for Nvidia because they do not want to slash the prices in order to move that inventory. That is why someone at Nvidia came up with a brilliant plan to launch RTX 4090 for a decent price of $1599 and then overprice the hell out of RTX 4080 at $1199 and what should have been a 4070 by pricing it at $899. This would have allowed them to keep selling RTX 3080s for well above $700 a piece. Just listen to how Nvidia's CEO Jensen Huang was trying to sell this idea to us. The GeForce RTX 4080 comes in 16 gigabyte and 12 gigabyte versions. 4080 is three times the performance of 3080 Ti on Racer X. 4080 starts at $899. The best gaming platform in the world just got better. Our 30 series, starting at 329, are the best GPUs in the world serving mainstream gamers. RTX 4090 and RTX 4080 GPUs, starting at 899, delivered the ultimate performance to enthusiasts. We still have more to do to restore order on the GPU market. I believe that RTX 4080 price must be reduced. So if you care about this issue, then voice your opinion in the comments below, post about this issue on your social media and comment below the content published by Nvidia on their social accounts. We proved that if you push back hard enough as a community, then these companies are willing to make things right. Let's do it one more time. It was I, Vadim, until next time.